Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that a small appliance manufacturer finds that it costs $9,000 to produce 1,000 toaster ovens a week and $12,000 to produce 1,500 toaster ovens a week. So we're asked to express the cost as a function of the number of toaster ovens produced, assuming that it is linear, and to sketch the graph. So to find the function, right, it's the function of a line since we're assuming it's linear, we need the two points. And so our x variable is going to be the number of toaster ovens. And our y variable is going to be the cost. Because it's standard to have y in terms of x, and this is the cost in terms of the number of toaster ovens produced. So therefore our two points are going to be, we have 1,500 toaster ovens a week for $12,000. And 1,000 toaster ovens a week is $9,000. Now we need to make the function. So first we get the slope is the change in y, which would be 12,000 minus 9,000 over the change in x, 1,500 minus 1,000. 12,000 minus 9,000 is 3,000. 1,500 minus 1,000 is 500. These cancel. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So now we have our function y equals mx plus b. We now know m, our slope, is 6. So we have y equals 6x plus b. And we can plug in, we'll be writing it up here, one of our points. Let's plug in this point. So y is 9,000 times 6 times x is 1,000 plus b, 9,000 equals 6,000 plus b. Subtracting 6,000 from both sides, b equals 3,000. Therefore, we can say that our equation is y equals 6x plus 3,000, where x is the number of toaster ovens and y is the cost. And we just have to graph it. So the easiest way to graph this function is to get the x-intercept and the y-intercept, right? Generally, that's the easiest way to do these functions where there's really large numbers. So our x-intercept is the value of x when y is 0. So we have 0 equals 6x plus 3,000. Subtracting 3,000 from both sides, we get 6x is equal to negative 3,000 x is equal to negative 500. So therefore, we have the point, our y-intercept we've already found, 3,000. 0, 3,000, and negative 500, 0. So going over here, we can graph it. Sorry that this is a little all over the place, but we have very limited space. And we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And we don't really have to worry about the negative numbers because while we're using this as a reference point, we don't actually want to have any negative numbers. So we want to continue this line as if it existed and then start from this y-intercept and say that our function looks like this. Why are we not including negative numbers? Because you can't produce negative toaster ovens a week, right? We could have y being less than zero because it could um, cost negative money in a sense, right? You could be making money. Doesn't really make sense here, but you could. However, that doesn't apply because to get to negative money, you'd have to be producing negative toast ovens, which obviously can't exist. So this is our function and this is our graph. And we're asked, what are the slope and y-intercept? The slope is looking at our function here, y equals mx plus b. The slope is m, which you have is six. And the y-intercept is b, which is 3,000. And so these are our answers. We're also asked, what do they actually represent? 
So the slope of the graph is the change in y over x. So it's the change in cost per toaster oven. So that means that if we increase by one more toaster oven, it's going to cost six more dollars. So it's basically the cost to produce one toaster oven a week more than before. The y-intercept, like I said earlier, is the value of y when x is zero. So it's the cost when x is zero, the cost when there's zero toaster ovens. So you can think of that as the startup cost to actually run the factory where they're making these, right? Even if you made no toaster ovens, right, you still have to have the materials and you have to own the building and all of that costs the value of 3,000.